so I'm back for another video and today I'm going to talk a little bit more about natural ways to help get you through your menopause. So the first one and the most common complaint is around hot flushes and lack of sleep. So I'm going to talk about those two first. Now, exercise, I know it sounds really, really simple, but exercise plays a huge factor. So only one in 20 women who regularly exercise experience hot flashes. This compares to one in four women who do not exercise. So if you're exercising on a regular basis, whether it's yoga, pilates, swimming, walking, running, blah, 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 then you are bound to experience less hot flushes, which is great news for those of you who regularly exercise already. So the next thing to help with sleep disruption and hot flashes is a product called Valerian. Valerian is really, really good for sleep. It is packed full of natural things and loads of my private clients, as soon as they started taking it, have noticed a huge difference in their sleep. Now, of course, insomnia can be quite a big issue if you are going through menopause and perimenopause. So there's a couple of tips that might help you. They might seem really simple, but if they help get you a good night's sleep, then who cares? So the first one is, if you know you struggle with insomnia, it's just to kind of accept it and not lie there thinking, well, if I don't go to sleep now, I'm only going to get four hours sleep. Or if I go to sleep now, I'm going to get two hours, 58 minutes sleep. When you start to get into that mindset, you're almost convincing yourself that you're not going to sleep that night and that is not helpful for you. So if you do sleep with a partner and you don't want to risk interrupting their sleep, it is worth having like a second spot for you when you're having those sleepless nights. And this could be somewhere in your living room, it could be a spare room, where you set up like a little nest where you've got some of your favourite things, like maybe you've got a favourite book, maybe you've got a small TV so you can watch your favourite film, Maybe you've got like a favourite blanket you can wrap up in and you can just spend some time just being by yourself and just enjoying the peace and quiet and accepting that, okay, you might get a little bit less sleep tonight, but as long as you're not beating yourself up over it. A few other things that you can try is things like lavender spray. And I know that sounds really simple, but lavender is really beneficial for your nervous system. So when you smell lavender, it almost refreshes your nervous system and this can help you send back to sleep. And I said that the wrong way around, but whatever, I'm rolling with it. Now, other natural things that are most commonly talked about, you've got um, black cohosh. Black cohosh, the studies behind it, they are only done for a relatively short period of time. So it's not recommended for longer than a year. Red clover is the same. And like with any of these natural supplements, you do want to check in with your GP because they can interfere with medication, especially if you're taking hormonal medication. If you are transitioning from female to male, they can have a knock on effect with that. So if you are going through that, then check to your GP. Just make sure that what you're taking is safe. Now, if you go into any supermarket and I'm from the UK, so I'm going to talk about things like Asda, Tesco, Morrison's, etc. And you go down the supplement aisle, you will see stacks and stacks and stacks of these menopause tablets targeted at women. And there's so many different ones, so many. And a lot of them are actually a rip off because they will cost you a fortune. And basically all it is is a standard multivitamin tablet. So. Some of the things that you do want to look at supplementing if you are going through perimenopause or menopause is vitamin D and calcium. Especially living in the UK, we do not get enough sunlight. Calcium because after menopause, when your estrogen levels are dropped, you are more likely to suffer osteoporosis, which is not good, aka brittle bones. So supplementing calcium can just help keep your bones health strong. Vitamin C. Vitamin C is always a good idea to supplement so you don't constantly get ill. Other things that you might want to look at is vitamin D, making sure you get it in with your calcium. And if you're not getting enough iron, if you're feeling a little bit tired, a little bit fatigued, then maybe look at supplementing your iron as well. Again, you can buy these in pretty cheap bottles, much, much, much cheaper than the ones with menopause written on them, even though it's probably the same product. So don't spend loads of money on various menopause tablets thinking they'll help save your life. The chances are, if you look on the back, it's probably just got vitamin C, vitamin D, and some other fancy words that you probably don't need. So, remember that you can join me every week over on Facebook at 8 o'clock. If you're not sure on my Facebook page, it will be down below in the comment section. And if you need me for anything, if you've got any questions, then please, please get in touch. Otherwise, I will speak to you next time.